Lauren with SEM Connections. Today I'm going to walk you through a bit of how SAP IBP handles process management and its functionality in the web user interface. Process management combines a little bit of project management along with automating certain processes in IBP. Today we're going to be going through a typical sales and operations or SNOP process and seeing how IBP can help automate it and promote collaboration. When you manage processes in IBP, you can assign different tasks to people which allows for easy collaboration and not having to send around an updated planning spreadsheet if there is a delay. Here you can see a typical SNOP process as you or someone on your team might create. Being able to see the deadlines and expected duration of each step in the process is extremely valuable, but IBP has a way to automate these steps and take the SNOP process to the next level. While the system seen here is a common way to plan, organize, and keep track of different processes, IBP's process management allows users to work on the process collaboratively with calendar visuals and automation of different application jobs. So now let's go into the system. Here we can see a template that I built for the SNOP process. This template can be applied to different projects and adjusted as such, but also different templates for different processes can be made in this Manage Process Template Fiori app. You can set different general settings, such as the days that you want the work to actually be done. In this case, I chose Monday through Friday, and I was able to set the time zone to central time. The steps below are different parts of an example SNOP process, but can be completely customized to the chronological order and detail of your choosing. In each step, you can see the different settings that are available to be customized. You can set the duration, relative start date, and automate the start and end of each step. And also add tasks to each step. And like I said before, assign participants or users to that task. One of the most interesting and useful parts of this tool is automating application jobs. So if I'm able to edit each step, We can go into cleanse sales history and see more settings. So like I said before, automating application jobs is extremely useful. So as you can see that I set the settings to, for this step to start automatically when the previous step is completed, meaning when the pre-SNOP step is completed, this will automatically start and the application job of outlier correction will automatically run and will look for um, outlier correction alerts. I set the settings to end the step automatically when the application job is completed and no custom alerts are found. If these two conditions are both satisfied, then the step is automatically marked as completed and the process moves on to the next step. If there are alerts, then the planners need to go in and make sure the job ran correctly and the data is corrected before moving on to the next step. Now since I didn't change anything, I'm going to cancel out of this view and we are going to create our own process and I'm going to rename this process Spark SNOP September and start the start date to be September 2nd, Monday and save. Now that we have the process all set up, we can go in and mark each step as completed as we follow this process. If we scroll down, we can see a nice visual Gantt chart that allows us to see when each step is in process and when, the calendar, when in the calendar we should be moving on to the next step. The duration of each task only takes into account the actual work days, so in this case, weekends are not counted towards the duration of the task. To demonstrate some of the functionality, I am going to mark our first step as completed to show how we can see the automation of the outlier correction job. So now that I've marked our first step as completed, you can see the second step, the cloud sales history, is in progress. And going in here, we can see that this outlier correction job has ran and I, when you click on the number of custom alerts, it directs you right to the page where you can monitor custom alerts. 
So in this page, you can see more about the alerts that the, autom that the automated application job ran into. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and have a great rest of your day.